Hello and welcome everybody back to Veliko Fun Gentleman Warfare. Kebab Lord here and well we are continuing with NO 1404 and yeah in the last episode we decided to expand the city a little bit to give it a bit of more of a priority than the meat supply for the nobles well because I want money that's the main reason and also I want to have this city prepared for future growth and that works best by doing it now, adapt the industry to it, so that I don't have to care that much about expanding the industry. Okay then, so, uh, yeah, that is our second district. There will be here another one. But in general, all of this is developing quite fine. So... Then, of course, the bit of wood that I have, I'm going to invest here into building more peasant houses. The next piece that we are doing is going to be the increase of the production. A of course, I would go for a heavy industry island. again. <laughs> Seriously, Helena has now so many islands that they receive numbers in the end. Blessing too, not new blessing or something like that. Which would have been a bit more immersive, but hey. I have a question, is she going to ever expand on that castle? Or is it now done? Gavin still has no castle, I guess he has no interest in seeing himself in a mirror in one of the 200 bedrooms. I totally thought he was uh, the right character to do that. Your population needs a medic. Yeah, my population doesn't really need a medic. As soon as it spreads, the other medics are going on it, so... Um, that actually works. There's no need to worry. And by the way, also thinking about starting a Sims 4 Let's Play. For those who don't know, I actually adore playing The Sims. Well, I always thought my playstyle was a bit weird. But well, maybe people like that. I mean, at the moment, my current character is a gay vampire with anxiety who is working in international politics. So, actually, quite a perfect combination um, for weirdness to happen. That is what I really enjoy Your about the Sims. Population is being it's weird. carried off by the Black Death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let them die. My God, that's natural selection. I will come back stronger than ever. An illness ever. is spreading through your island. See, and now my medics can start working on it. One of your plants has stopped producing good. The Sultan would be delighted if you could fulfill this service. For Twenty him. tons of ropes. We don't have ropes. But for you, I will just do some rope yards, for which I don't have the resources. Your population needs a medic. Yeah, yeah, the city will survive this. One of your plants has stopped producing. But please, dear medics, don't forget to do too much testic, uh, testing. We don't want to look bad compared to other countries, right? You're not taking this personally, are you? Oh, Gavin really hates me. The mob is on the brink of torching your settlement. The mob? The storm has subsided. Really, they're so ill, they're starting... Um, yeah. Again, something that won't have that much effect on us. See if you of the houses have healed already. It's just a flu. So stop whining so much. Okay, we are running low on fish again. I hope 
hoped we had solved that issue. But okay, um... If that is what we need, by the way, how many fishing huts do we have here? 13! Well, let's go for a heavy overproduction then. What could possibly go wrong, right? That important quest that I entrusted to you. Have, thank you. You are an inspiration. Very. Yeah, at least I are not among the AI who give you negative uh, reputation for aiding the Orient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we should have 23 fishing huts. And if that is not enough, then I don't know what is. Oh, look at that. We are nearly done with the plague. And the mob did not burn down our churches. Progress. Yay. Oh yeah, right, I don't need you anymore. Okay, and now we do the same increase for uh, for our cider production. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. And I was just stupid, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to have to care about the industry as soon as I do the next expansion of the city. So be warned, it will not be efficient. I will probably be in the negatives of money and live through trade, but that is not the first time I do that, so there's that. Uh, I could use Four another side of the out. And nothing will now you can tell people that Hassan ben Saeed burnt a hole in your place. I could also tell them that Hassan ben Organize Saeed is an it. asshole. We need fanfares to herald the event. Yeah, yeah, that works. Ooh. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are very thoughtful. Ah, Helena. There's always the positivity. May Allah bless you. It's nice to see you here. Well, I just can't. By the way, Gavin did not feel superior for a while, so it seems like I definitely did it. I surpassed him. Okay then, now... Also linen garments are going to be a factor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five.
won't really do much, but let's see how much we can do. Have you seen the way that knight knocked his opponents out of their saddles in the jousting? Magnificent! I can really depend on you. That doesn't work as well as I had hoped. So they count as three. So I'm definitely going to need access to that sword works. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Let's see if we can place here another. That was, of course, the wrong building. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. That one's only working with 50%, okay, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and a half, so... One of your plants has stopped producing goods. See, everything is working fine. We just need to lose a critical amount of population. So now time to build another one. The Black Death has been vanquished. Yeah, it took you long enough, guys. Like, seriously? So many buildings. So many buildings. In the hundreds. Two other players are now allies. Oh, that alliance won't last forever. I expect it to fail. So that might now take a while until things have normalized again. In the meantime, I can try to get some attainments from Hassan. 
So that here, fewer beggars are needed to guarantee that peasants advance to citizens. Because at the moment it's 40 begging, uh, begging rights, meaning that with all these beggars that we have, we get 25 additional citizen buildings. And we can get that down so that we have over 30 from that. Just by choosing the right attainment. So, one, two. Production has been disrupted. One, two. And there it is. 250. You shall hear from me. And I mean, we are going to get a lot of beggars over time. So, so yeah, that means then in the end, less peasants. So we are, will not reach the same point as in NO 1800, where we don't need peasants at all, but simply because we don't get the bonus of, well, workforce per additional island, but still. Also, if you do it right, we can get all the attainments in this game. I mean, all it costs is a bit of honor. The Emperor would be a happy man indeed. And now we even got more of that. Okay then, so the next step that we are going to take is the spice supply. <sighs> that is going to be quite a bit. I mean, at the moment we have eight. But I should expand to 13 or something like that. So at least one new additional layout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, really looking forward to the Land of Lions DLC. Consider these building plans a gift from our population. You know, the last DLC for NO 1800. I hope it will be great because, well, the passage was a bit very short. And the most useful thing from that is actually the airships. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take and what that I am wrong. I only need five. One, two, three, four, five. So that should do the trick. Because what we definitely don't want to risk is that we are running out of spice. So and just to make sure that all that stuff is being delivered, we are also going to build a few storage houses. I can understand your hesitation, Mr. Simon. You are supposed to destroy an enemy fleet? Well... Sure, I mean... That fleet is totally not strong. So yeah, we should quite easily be able to get rid of that. One of your buildings is being attacked. May Allah bless you. Okay, I'm taking that person to my people. That is now just mean. Fire is devastating your city. One of your ships is being attacked. You 
have sunk the enemy flagship. Okay, time to go back to Mr. Garibaldi and see if he has any award for, uh, reward for us. Oh, come on, dear crop farm, burn down! We should also increase our storage capacities on this side. And that works best by building the historic Some warehouses. Historic warehouses would Fabulous! Look, the construction site is completely deserted. What a pitiful sight. Also, it will make all our ships faster. Please don't send us away again. What? You're opening the city gates for us? I'll never forget you. And uh, now we get even more citizen rights. How could you let such a beautiful town go to rack and ruin like this? Oh, and that is actually very easy. The, aside, the end result. Whatever your heart desires. So that is where your preferences lie. Your building opportunities have been expanded. The Sultan has presented you with these building plans as a gift. Oh, now they also want wine. Satisfy all these. Oh, well. We basically asked for that, so. Oh, and I'm already getting. We had throwbacks to people demanding candlesticks. Something that is definitely going to happen here in the future. At least if we run out of money, we can simply raise taxes. So there's that. So let's see how well that will work for us. A source of raw materials is almost exhausted. Yeah, yeah. Better now. Thank God there have been no serious accidents at the construction site so far. Production has been disrupted. Once we historic warehouses are done, we should definitely not have any storage issues Your or anything assistance like that. In this matter would be if there's anything else I can help you with. Okay, another fleet to destroy, and that actually seems to be a rather strong one. Using Oriental warships. But they have only half the health. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. Oh my god, the sails are clipping through. 
That's not how you do it. Uh, One of your ships is under fire. So and now we can get rid of this is an enemy. I'll the enemy take what I am old. You'll get over it. And for a second we were at risk of losing the Van Bean. Do you have any news for me? No. Appointment? But the carpet trade route should give us a constant supply of honor. A thunderstorm is threatening your island. Oh, please, no. Great. Okay, that is a moment where a couple of buildings might burn down. I will look tarnished forever, but hey. Let us keep the details just between. Oh, there's even a disease. to complain about too little to enjoy so far. Well at least we are making the money that is necessary. So a volcano has become active on an island. It's nice to see Well Helena enjoy At the moment, it seems like the world has something against us. Did you manage to deal? How wonderful! How nice! Yeah, but he's just active. But it's not a full eruption. Send us away. What? Oh, we beggars are always welcome, my That's friend. Top, that is. With God's help, the workers will have completed this phase of the building work before long. That has Having nothing to, to do with God. So. The thunderstorm has subsided. I shall inform the Sultan of your generous donations. Generous donations, that was active trade. So, time to replace all the fields that we have lost through the thunderstorm. Oh. I see. So, did we lose anything here? Yep, we did. Production has been disrupted. But it could have been worse, right? Did we lose any of our fishing huts? Nope. Still 23. No, of course I have to rebuild. That one. So, time for the next bagging rights improvement. Once we build a church down here, I'd be happy to help you. The city will look completely different. Okay, but we are really the running out of Workers are making tools. good progress. Everything is going splendidly. Yeah, that's nice. So we can focus on the bread production again, yeah? One, two, 
two, three, four. Okay, for a moment there I thought we are not going to work at 100%. So on Anno 1701 we were able to get rid of those rocks here. Well, unfortunately it does not work here in this game. So, unfortunately, I am unsure if I can place here another one of these layouts. And I would actually need another one, that is the thing. Definitely be in this phase of the building now. work on the historic warehouses is cool. I have the plans. I yeah, course. start with the next one. The work here has come to a halt for the time being. Oh, with this. Begging most humbly for your support. <laughs> we are supposed. To sink the fleeing ship. Okay, and the Van Veen goes into repairs. Source of raw materials will soon dry up. So we just bribed the mountain. Of course, I know that the explanation behind the mechanic is yeah, search for deeper caves, stuff like that, but. I just think that bribing the mountain has a different ring to it. Your neighbor is suffering an outbreak of the plague. So, which one? I hope it's Gavin. Oh, Helena, what are you doing? Also, your city is not growing. Something is going terribly wrong on your end. These few noble houses are just disappointing. You can do better, darling. Okay, so now we have 10 bread productions. That should definitely be more than sufficient in the future. A fair trade. The enemy is attacking one of your ships. Do you fancy a three? You've got to be shitting me. A 
Are you making fun of me? I don't think I will be able to reach that ship. Hmm, and I thought I gave them an attack order and not a move order. Well, apparently I was wrong. So, in the next step, I'm also going to increase our beer production capabilities. Production has been disrupted. But first, I need to wait until we have more wood here. Yeah, I'm not going to catch that anymore. Sorry, dear citizen. Or dear peasant. Forgive me for taking I failed. up your valuable time. Everyone is working very diligently. It looks as if it won't be long before this edifice is finally completed. So you need all the wood that you can get. Good thing is we don't need anything else. in safe hands here. Oh, Gavin is already having his fifth district. Isn't that interesting? You've got a good deal there. And still his city looks like total shit. Gavin is just a walking disappointment. Even Guy Forecast is more competent. Uh, it won't fit entirely in there. And I know it sounds wrong. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Won't you give five, a couple six. of miserable souls shelter? What, you're opening the city gates for us? I'll never forget you. Of course I'm you going to open You obviously cannot be relied upon. I'm opening the city gates. Okay, then we have that, 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 and that. And unfortunately, still no mass copy feature. They should have really carried it over. But on the other hand, try to add a new feature to a more than 10 years old game. So now of course we also need four more crop farms. So, and now we'll see here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And that should be totally sufficient. And do a trick for us. So, and how's our city going? Well, we totally could have a few more citizens. Don't put up a fight. 
Why should I? Money is of no concern for me anymore. So, we are placing a new arms house here. And as far as I can see... Just for us beggars? As far as far as I can see, we have enough printing houses to support to support that big population that we have. But well, I might need an additional paper mill. So just to be safe. More paper is better than less paper. Yeah, that looks marvelous. Now it's time to find a thumbnail. The workers are making good progress here at the construction In the next episode, site, that one so is going worry. to be finished. And at that point, we should then have, hopefully, way more noblemen than, because the amount of patricians that we are having is a bit very high. Well, we will see. As I said, time for thumbnail. Yeah, that looks good. Though, of course, no comparison to the amount of crop fields that we have in N1800 in our big Let's Play. Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. In the next episode, we are focusing on getting more noblemen into the city, which should actually be totally no problem. Especially for all those in range of his Deptus prison. We will get this last attainment here, the Beggar Prince. And then next, we are going here for the Envoys. For those rights. That is also going to be interesting. And yeah. As always, I hope you liked this episode. If yes, please consider giving it a thumbs up as a small feedback for me. It makes me happy and, well, sees how much of a good job I'm doing here. And yeah, if you have any feedback, questions or whatsoever, then just type it down in the comments. I will make sure to read it all. And if I feel like it, I might even answer. And if you want to get notified whenever I upload something new, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that notifications are activated. And of course, you may always join our community discord, Organize for which you will find an invitation the population. in the video description down below. And with that, I say goodbye for today. And see you next time in Anno 1404. Bye bye.